Hello, I'm Father Gregory Fedor. I'm the pastor of Immaculate Heart of Mary Church and St. Joseph Church in Austintown, Ohio. What I want to talk about today is a little bit of an overview of the season of Advent. There is some uncertainty as to what the dominant theme of the season should be. Is it focused upon the traditional last things, the end of the world, the general resurrection, the last judgment, and the new heaven and earth? Is it a period of preparation for the Feast of the Incarnation? Does it place us back in the period of salvation prior to the coming of the Messiah? The lectionary, produced as a result of the liturgical changes of the Second Vatican Council, has tidied up this confusion. The lectionary develops the future themes on the last Sundays of the year, bringing them to a climax in the Feast of Christ the King and on the first Sunday of Advent. Then, from the second Sunday of Advent on, it introduces other themes in preparation for the Feast of the Incarnation. Thus, the successive church years dovetail into one another. The theme of Advent is certainly hope. It's hope that when the Lord returns in triumph, we will be prepared, and it is hope that we are living our lives as Christ intended us. The three synoptic Gospels set the tone for the three cycles of Advent. In cycle A, with Matthew, we celebrate Advent as missionary Christians who are aware of their roots in Judaism as well as their religious uniqueness. In cycle B, with Mark, we see Advent in the context of our radical commitment to follow Christ, whatever the cost. In cycle C, where, which we will be entering this year on the first Sunday of Advent, with Luke, our Advent unfolds as the work of the Holy Spirit, reconciling everyone through Jesus, the Savior, the Messiah, and Lord of all. You and I are invited to focus on the theme of promise and fulfillment in this season of Advent. This biblical theme is fundamental for the season, in which we see the present time as a fulfillment with regard to the past and a promise to our future in the eternal kingdom. During Advent, remember we are focusing always on the Lord, as Christ the King in the beginning and as the Messiah at Christmas. I hope you have a prayerful and fulfilling Advent this year. God bless you all.